Hi, I'm Mr Maths and today we'll be looking at Functional Skills Level 2 Maths Finding the Percentage Change Finding the Percentage Change Sometimes you'll be given the result after a percentage change and the original value and you'll need to work out what the percentage increase or decrease was. To do this, divide the new value by the original value to give a decimal. Convert this decimal into a percentage, that's usually multiplying by 100, and then subtract 100 to get the percentage change. If the percentage is negative, the change was a decrease. Okay, let's see this in an example. When Simon bought his car, it was worth £32,000. The car is sold five years later for £24,000. What is the percentage change in the value of the car? So what we have to do is divide the new total by the original total. So 24,000, this total here, divided by 32,000, and it will give you a decimal. If you don't get a decimal, you've done it the wrong way around. And it's given a decimal of 0.75 and you can guess that that's going to be 75%. But now we just have to work out the difference. So we multiply it by 100 to get 75%. Then we subtract 100 to find out what the percentage change is. And here you can see, taking 100 off of 75 gives you negative 25. So the decrease in value of his car has been 25% decrease. If you don't have that negative sign, it's been an increase. Here are some examples. Pause your video now. And here are the answers. Let's go through this top one. 10 years ago, 3,000 penguins nested on a beach. This year, 3,090 nested on the beach. So you divide that 3,090 by 3,000 and you're going to get 1.03. Now we times that 1.03 by 100 to get this as a percentage. So it's 103% you end up with there. And then you just take off 100 to find out the increase. Because if it's over 100, it's going to be an increase. And the increase is obviously 3%. I've been Mr. Maths. Please like and subscribe.